Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Bren and today I'm bringing you more Spellbinders Club Kits from April 2024. Here I start off with the Glimmer of the Month, but I also use the Large Die of the Month, the Better Press of the Month, and I also use some small Die of the Month elements as well as Stitching Die of the Month. These Spellbinders Club Kits work so well together and that it's so easy to use quite a few of the club kits to create cards. One of the reasons I also store my Spellbinders club kits together is because they so they go so well together and therefore storing them together makes sense because they're all part of a theme. Unless, of course, it's sentiment heavy and I do tend to keep them separately because I do use sentiments more frequently. Here I'm doing the glimmer and I'm attaching all of the individual glimmer plates together with best ever craft tape so that I can glimmer them or hot fold them together. Uh, you can do them separately as well. I don't do that in this video, but I may do it going forward. But it's easy enough to do it individually or together. When I attach it together, I just find it, it gives a more, uh, covers more of the card front. I really hope you enjoy the video. I've got lots of inspiration here. Hopefully it inspires you when you get your club kits. And if you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. I do lots of Spellbinders club kits, but I also do the core collection. So I've got loads of Spellbinders videos out this month especially. Which is why you'll see quite a few do videos out this month and possibly quite a few videos then if you know you can always um, subscribe and watch them at your leisure i also hot foil the sentiments here because the glimmer of the month comes with sentiments as well so it's easy enough to uh, hot foil them all together when you've got your hot foil machine ready when i have my foil press gemini foil press machine ready i tend to do lots of hot foiling and it's generally at a medium setting, 20 to 25 seconds, and I usually get some really good hot foiling. Here, when I do the hot foiling, I use the hinge method. So it means that if it doesn't hot foil properly, I can always hot foil it again. So the one of the sentiments doesn't hot foil fully. So I hot foil it for the second time by just leaving it in place, leaving the hot foil plate as well as the foil in place, and I put it through the hot foil or the foil press machine again and then it's complete and that's the great thing about hot foiling you can use the hinge method and hot foil again i learned the hinge method from yana smakula so it's very much similar to the stamping platform method where you've got a hinge that allows you to stamp it again or hot foil it again in this case then i use the coordinating die which comes with the glimmer of the month set and i die cut the sentiments one by one and I've got enough sentiments here to do all the cards I want to. This is the large die of the month, which is pins and needles in a jar. I do a few cards on this one, but it's really self-explanatory. And I'll show you how I compile the dies. It's easy enough. So I do a couple of cards with this one where I show you where you can put it onto an A6 card or you can do a shaped card as well. I hope the video is self-explanatory. I've got lots of notes that go through the entire video which hopefully helps you when you are creating your own cards with the club kits and i hope you have fun doing them because these club kits really make it easy to make some create amazing projects beat cards or even scrapbooking if you're into scrapbooking so thank you so much for stopping by as i said previously all of your comments are such a huge help to help me do better videos but also gives me the encouragement and the impetus to create continuously here if you see this the, the safety pins i create i do partial die cutting on the safety pins for the head of the safety pins because i want the head of the safety pins to be slightly a different color it's not a separate die but it's the same safety pin die but i partially die cut it just do a little bit of fussy cutting at the top and have a different colored head for the safety pins it's just something i like to do and i thought it'd be good to do it's not it's optional obviously but it's something i added to this uh, creation of mine in this video i also use the spellbinders 
curved everyday sentiments hot foil plate which is not out yet it's meant to be out on the 10th of april 2024 so it'll be out soon enough but i used it here and i've got so many more color i call collection to show you in the videos that come out after the 10th of april so this is a little bit of a preview of the sentiments that's available hope you like it i'm gonna leave you some music and i'll catch you later at my next video happy crafting and do take care